right, good morning everybody. Welcome to a little prep work on let's on a world run record attempt for Pietro Conti uh, for Uncharted Waters, New Horizons. I have a week off this week, and so I was like, you know what? I haven't I haven't speed speed run sped run. I don't even know how you would say that, but I haven't done that in a while. And so I wanted to do this and bring it back. Uh, you know, I had a lot of fun with this last summer, and there's a couple of characters that I still want to that I still want to speed run and get and get records for. Uh, I've got the record for Joao at this point. Uh, I lost the record for Ali over the summer, so I might need to get that one back at some point. I've got the record for Otto Baines as well, but uh, I haven't made an attempt at Pietro, and so and I don't know. Uh, the current time, uh, Snyder uh, has got the record right now, and so we're going to see how this goes, and I'm just going to yeah, have some fun with this. It should be good. Uh, drawing with J44, good morning. Welcome. Thank you for checking out the stream today. So we are going to do Pietro Conti's quest, and, and, uh, and I've got a general idea of what I need to do. Uh, I'll be Today is just kind of, and tomorrow is just getting some prep notes together, and then I'll uh, start to put together... Uh, my actual run and start streaming that over the next couple days. So that'll be good. All right, take up the debt. Do not want to give him a new name, and let's go. All right, and he starts here. All right, and this Pietro has got to pay off some money here. A lot of people are going to be asking him for money. Uh huh. Wow. How will the harbor give you shelter? I don't understand. Mm hmm. Ah, so apparently his father left him a lot of money. All right. Ha-ha! Excellent. Great. All right. Fantastic. Well, let's go talk to Camillo and see if he's got any money for us. And there he is. Ah, my favorite music in the game. Wow. Wow. Okay, sponsors are good. Oh, fantastic. That was easy. What's, well, that was easy. Too wild and crazy, guys. Wow. There's got to be a catch. There always is. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, great. Falcon, beautiful. head straight for Lisbon. And we could use the auto sale command. Unfortunately, for some reason, I don't think they send you off in the right direction. But, okay. Well, that was easy. We're going to head right over to Lisbon. Don't have to fight. Don't have to do anything. All right, let's go. Again, my favorite music, my favorite world map music of the whole game. Okay, so I'm thinking that the best... Oh, stop it. I'm thinking that the best... Uh, the best way to go... Is going to be to... And we'll discover Suta, yeah. Obviously, the first split will be leaving Lisbon. Great. So as we go, I'm going to make notes here. And you can go at any time, I believe. The Duchess's house is open 24-7. Great. Fantastic. 
Great. Wow. Sounds good. Great. Absolutely. Wow. Dang. Dang. Wow, he's kind of... Ah, there it is. There's always something. There's always a catch. Wow. Holy cow. Pietro is like... Wow. Great. Man, this Pietro is kind of... Insulting. Wow. All right. Will do. That was pretty... Yeah. Whew. By the way, can you pick up a light galley? I don't think you can. Oh, stop it. Let's see if you can pick up a light galley right away. No, I didn't think so. But, oh, that La, La Real would be fantastic. But cannot afford a La Real just yet. No problem. Yeah, no kidding. All right. <laughs> no, not really. Let's do it. Ah, we could go check out the Nile River. Trim the jib and set sail for Alexandria. Nah, I'm good. Nope. Okay, so this will be the first... In fact, I need to make some notes here. This will be the first split. I've got my notes on how to win the game. I'm just going to make some notes here for splits. First split will be leave Lisbon. Okay, great. And we'll, we'll sail along, that's fine. Okay, first thing we need to do, as we do with all our other adventuring quests, is go pick up a light galley. I can do that right down here. It's a slight detour, but I know it, I know it will give me a light galley. ship. There's our light galley. Yes. Nope. And 12, oops. 1200 is usually pretty good. And we'll call it A. And we remodel, of course. Fine. Uh, ten bunks for the crew. No guns. Yep. Okay. Transfer my crew. Yep. Let's just ten men. That's fine. Is it even worth it to transfer food? No, it's not. I'm just. So let me make that note. Okay, so let's see. Only transfer crew. <laughs> yeah, I'm just making some notes here. Okay, now we'll sell. Falcon. Yep. Yep. That's fine. Great. Free upgrade to a new ship, basically. I like it. All right, good. And we definitely want to supply. No problem. 55 days. Let's go. Okay, now I got to check my map here because I need to make sure... I 
just looking at my map here. Oh no, I need to go that way to check for... Yeah, I gotta go check for those three discoveries. Well, if I get Sabertooth Tiger, I can just... No, because I probably won't be back in this area of the world map again, so I do want to check for those three villages. So if I go directly northwest... Okay, I'm gonna try something here. I'm going to see what happens if I go directly northwest. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. That isn't going to work. I need to go check for that other village, too. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go check for that other village. Well, do I... Actually, hold on. Do I need to? I just need the thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm just going to go check for the... I'm just going to go up straight up this way, yeah. Good morning, Hyper Kaiju. How are you this morning? Good to see you. I just realized this could save me a little time. Favorite world map music. Okay, and we're gonna go check for the saber tooth tiger. Just checking my map here. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Check for the saber tooth tiger and the mammoth. Yeah, it's fun to get this. Hello, Biggies, how you doing? Good to see you this morning. Okay, let's check the Super Tooth Tiger. This excellent. And I believe I have to get it all the way up to sixty. I have not played Bra Bravely Default to uh, drawing. Is it good? Um, no biggie, uh, I don't like Ernst's Quest the most. That's that's the most annoying one. Yeah, I think it was 60. Oh wow, okay, 65 looks like. There it is. Okay, so... So that's 65 for the saber tooth tiger. Okay, great. Now we plunder. Awesome. Hey, doing that, but got to do it. All right, very good. Yeah, Hyper Kaiju, this is probably one of my favorite video games. Well, not probably. It is. It's one of my favorite video games of all time. Um... There's no doubt about it. It is one of my absolute favorite video games of all time. It's actually the first game I LP'd. It, it got my LP career started. Which is pretty cool. 
I've always had a lot of fun with this game. I actually hold two world records. Right, yeah, biggies, that's it. Yeah, and I actually hold two world records in this game. Um, I hold the world record for Joao and the world record for... Um, Otto Baines. So, pretty cool. Okay, now I can't quite remember where the mammoth is. Oh, it's up this way. If the mammoth spawns, and it might not spawn, but if it does spawn, I believe it spawns up here. There it is. Nice. These are two star level discoveries, so this is going to give me all the money that I, and, well, not all the money, but it, almost all the fame and money that I need. If you can get both of these, it's awesome. It's a great way to get started. I'll probably have to go all the way up to 65 with this one too. But I'll check it. Yeah, I should. to do 65 as well. Okay. Yep. Lost two more members of the crew. And the mammoth. Wonder one more time. I hate to do it, but that's how I'm going to get home. Okay. Great. Alright. Very good. Oops. Sign crew. Now, it's, do I want to go check, because there's a B-level discovery. I'm trying to decide if I want to go check for that B-level discovery. Let's see how far it is. Let's see how far away it is. Yeah, this is this is basically an exploration game. That's that's a good way to put it. And you basically sail the world, and there's a number of different quests that you can do. Okay, yeah. This is pretty far away. And I know I can get the discovery because it's The discovery's right around here. The discovery's right around here. I now and as, as I'm remembering, I don't remember if it's worth it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just going to get the two star level, look for the two star level discoveries, because that's all re you all really need to get the game going. Because then that allows you to get cartography and an extra ship. But the only reason I'm looking for the star level, extra star level discovery, because it provides a good amount of fame and adventure, which you need to win the game. For Pietro's scenario, anyway. Yeah, so, basically, so, the, the kind of the premise of this game, Hyper Kaiju, is... It's set in uh, the year 1522, and you can choose one of, it's, it's kind of tells a story of, of, uh, his, like, of history, and you basically, you're one of six characters, and each of them has a different scenario, and there's interactions like you can... You can interact with different countries. You can go to war with different countries. Uh, and each of them does a different thing in order to win the game. Like a couple of them, you have to get fame and adventure. You have to become a great adventurer. 
Uh, for some of them, you need to. Uh, for some of them, you need to. Oops, come on. I know we have rats. It's fine. Uh, for some of them, you have to. I'm gonna run up here and grab Forel. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't need it. So I think you get extra fame in Pietro for. Getting the part of the world map here. Okay. And then as soon as you get over, head over. That'll work. Yeah, it's 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 a really unique game. Um, again, it's it's one of my favorite video games of all time. If you want, I would go suggest going back and watching my LP of it, so you can see how all this game works. Again, to me, it's one of my f my favorite video games of all time. I don't know why I like it so much. I mean, it's it's not as ooh, pirates. It's not as exciting as others, but all right, got a level and a level. Very good. All right, let's go report these discoveries. Let's see if I can purchase a Laurel. Oops. I've discovered these. Why? And this is how I get my money for the game. Great. And discovered the Sabertooth Tiger. This is how you get your money for the game. And you get the fame and adventure that you need. So that should be worth. Yeah, those are worth 1,500 fame and adventure each, so pretty good. Okay, and there was a little delay entering the building, so you know you're getting ready to start to the next part of the story here. Let's see if there's a La Real. There is. Beautiful. I will buy this one. Nope. And I believe. Oh, hold on a second. I think you can get it for 30, and it's okay. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Hyper Kaiju. Yeah, I figured that ending out of random... I know that I wouldn't want to sit through random battles. And so I don't want to make people that watch my videos do it either. Yes. Nope. I think you can get it for 30 and he's okay with it. No, you can't. Actually... Oops. Up at 32, maybe. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. You know, it's fine. I can just, I can just accept the price. It's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. Call it M. Doesn't really matter. Okay, model. More capacity. M. Now for this one, oops, we want 40 crew, zero guns. Yep. And now we sell A because I don't need it anymore. Yes. Uh, and I don't care about this. They can, we can get rid of all of them. Great. Awesome. Very good. Now, uh, cafe. Uh huh. No. It really isn't. Treat. Okay, 10. Apparently, I'm a famous adventurer. I did, don't care. 40 men? Perfect. I don't know why they don't allow women to sail. I mean, they're just as capable as they're just as capable as as men. So I've never understood that. Well, I would say we got these men, and of course it was 1522, and gender roles were somewhat different than what they are today.
Okay, let's see. Okay, awesome. Now! Oh yeah, probably should. This is an SNES title. It was also remade for the Sega Genesis. And there we go, very good. Well, you know what I should also do is, I forgot. Stop it. Let's do rations. 190. There we go. Okay, now I believe if I go down to, back down to Madeira, I can pick up the gold medallion. Yep. I believe if I go to the, I believe if I go to the cafe in Madeira, I can pick up the gold medallion. Or the map to the gold medallion, I think. I think you just have to do it after leaving Europe. Yep, there it is. I think that's the trigger. Sure am. The gold medallion. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Nope. Okay, fine. Okay, great. Oh, I see. Ah, an adventure from Portugal. Remember that for later. Okay. And now we have a map to the medallion. Now, let's hopefully I can just figure out where it is. Hmm. I don't know where that is. So basically what I have to do now is I have to go search and find that medallion. That kind of is your next goal of the game. Okay, so split can be... Let's see, the split can be... Probably the map. Yeah, I'll, I'll make that a split. Okay. Now, sometimes you get lucky and I know exactly where that is. And hopefully it's close. But a lot of times it's not. So what I need to do now then... Is pick up some balm. Pick up some balm. Probably the most important item you can get in this game is a balm. And get a balm. Yep. I want to get about five of these because basically what it does, what a balm does, is it. Keeps storms from from happening. Well, when a storm happens, you can combat it right away. Very good. Oh, and we're good. I'm also just checking and watching my money here. Because I, I might not have that extra discovery. So I'd only have. Watching my money situation carefully. Also, Pietro can rip in this La Real. It's great. Sometimes there's a, disc a village right there. Now we need to go up to see Mercator to get cartography skills. That's fine. What you want to do here is, before going to do this, what you want to do is save your game, 
and then he can analyze the map for us. Locate. Yep. It's fine. 30 south, 130 east. Okay. Now we actually go pick up cartography skills. Wow, okay. Um, I'm gonna contract, so I'm probably gonna need to sell the sextant. Well, ugh. So if that'll cut 51, I'm just kind of looking at my, how I'm going to afford this. Because if I didn't get the saber tooth tiger, I'd be under 10. Let's see here. I'm just thinking, well, if I got the great auk discovery, I'd have enough, but that wastes time. Hmm. What can I sell the sexton for? Four thousand. Well, that'll cover my balm. Probably a bit too. But then I like, do I have money to? You need to go right to the medallion, wherever it may be. Hmm. Uh, it's, well, hold on. Does my map tell me? Because I can pull up a world map here. I'm just kidding. Here we go. for something that's really far. Yeah, because, okay. Maybe you've got to have the great Oct discovery as well. Sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm make, this is why I do these prep days. Let's see. 
so that's just gonna be there. Okay. Okay, uh, let me run to the restroom real quick. I gotta take a quick bathroom break, and then I'll be back and we'll keep getting some information. Okay, I will be right back.
Okay, we are back. And, okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I think I can sell the sextant because I pretty much know where I'm going. So I think I can sell the sextant. And that'll leave me a little bit of money. And you know what I can do? I can buy some glass beads. That's what I can do. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. I'll buy, while I'm here, I'll buy glass beads because I can sell those for a good profit. Nope. I just need to basically be able to get around the world. And I can do some trading along the way. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will get me the money that I need to get going. And I can do some trading along the way. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. Totally fine. All right, and let's go. And then basically you just look and see. Where the uh, the medallion is now, this is they said 3135. If I'm looking at my map here, I'm just kind of plan this out here. Probably be faster to go, yeah, down this way. So we'll do that. Also, oh, stop it. Point two. My bookkeeper, yeah. Not that I don't think I'll really need it, but all right, good. All right, and now we just start exploring. I wonder if do you need a La Real? I mean, yeah, you do because it's the fastest ship in the game. So yes, you do need a La Real, and it's good to just have a little extra buffer. I think he's at 30 south, 135 east. And yeah. Great. And actually, I'm going to stop and pick up those, sell those glass beads. So goods. Yep, and that'll give me enough money to... Where's the... Yeah, that'll give me enough money. As long as I only get one of those star level discoveries, I should be good. Yeah, I should be okay on money. 51 days? Oh yeah, I'll be fine. Wait, no, I won't, because I have to entertain the villagers. Damn it, wait a minute, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. I might have to get... Do I not purchase the... No, because I need the La Real so I can entertain the villagers, so I have enough food. That's why I needed to do that. Okay, how do I make extra money? Because I have to go all the way to South America, or to for this one, I have to go all the way to Asia. Now, the location of the map is random, so it could be that I just got a bad draw, and if it's too far away, I have to restart. I, could, I might have to do that as well. If it's too far away, I have to restart. Yeah, or is our life indeed um, hot sin, indeed. Um, sorry everybody, I'm just trying to think and just trying to decide what I need to do there because I'm, the only other option I have, because right now, like I got both those discoveries, so in this run I'm fine, but 
chances are that only one of those star level discoveries will spawn. You have to check for both because it makes life easier. Maybe I get the Great Auk? Well, because the Great Auk will give me an additional two. Yeah, I've thought about that hot set. The problem is, is I don't... I need to go straight to... I need to go straight to the, the map of the medallion is the problem. And I... Um, Like, I would do a quick round of South America, but... Yeah, exactly. Good old RNG. Never let you down. Um, you know what? I may have to go just do Great Auk. I may have to go look for those other... And just hope that two of those discoveries spawn. Well, you know, it doesn't really matter, I guess, because in this one I got it. So... I'm just trying to think of a backup plan. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of a backup plan so that I, in case I only get the one. Yeah, right, Faye, exactly. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do is... What I may have to do is just hope for the Great Auk and just lose a little bit of time. And if I get two out of the three, that's what I'll probably have to do, is if I get two out of the three, then I can continue. I think now that I'm remembering, I might have had to do that with Joao, too, where you get two out of the three. And if you get two out of the three, you can, can, can continue your quest. If not, then you have to restart. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. If I think of something else, I'll, I'll, I'll let you all know. Of course, if I get a bad... If I get a good map spawn, map of medallion spawn, then that's good too. Yeah, that's what I'll have to do, and that's fine. I'll go back and watch my Joao, Joao speedrun and just double check and see what I did. Oh, storm. Reset for Greenland Village spawn. Yeah, that's probably the... Uh, that's probably the... Um, um, well, I know. That's the... Uh, Sabertooth Tiger discovery. But if I know that the Mammoth is up there as well, you can go check for both of those. And the Great Auk. John, basically just finding all these ports. Oh, I might even be able to do a tour map of the world tour. Okay, I don't think there's any discoveries up there. Let me check my map. Are any worth getting? There's a couple. Potential discoveries up here. There's a village. Good. Natural wonder. Ant Hill. Right. Oh, I think I remember why I didn't want to come up here. Hey, thanks for the sub. Uh, whoever that was, thank you very much for the sub. Ruins of an ancient civilization. Leafy the Martyr, thank you very much for the sub. Oh, it's if you have cargo here, that's the that's what it was. Never mind.
All right. Yeah, this game is great, uh, Hyper Kaiju. It's one of my absolute favorites. As I, I know I've probably said that like three or four times, but it's true. Great, monuments are good. Diago's monument. I guess the good thing about getting a discovery far away is that, um, or the map location far away, is that uh, you have an opportunity to go immediately go around the world map. Sometimes there's a village up here. And also, I think it's 50 villages randomly. There's 98 villages total. There's 90 villages, or 98 villages total in the game, I think. And 50 of them randomly spawn at the start of the game. So that's how that works. Out of curiosity. Rwanda, I'm just curious. Can I do this? I'm just checking to see if I can record some gameplay while I'm streaming. I may record some. Quagga. If you also want to check that out, uh, you can. Yeah, you can certainly do that. I think the longer days that you are at ta at at sea, uh, the more your levels stack. I think so. The longer you say the, the multiplier goes up. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy to be back speed running it again too. Um, hot. Diaz's monument. Yeah, so you can basically, you can find kind of historical landmarks and things that are like, oh, that's kind of cool. Another village, great. Always happy when I get villages. Especially if you entertain, because that means that the villages, uh, means that uh, Big Zimbabwe, very good, okay, let's check that out. Uh, yeah, it's, oh, what was I saying? Yeah, it's glad to be back into it. Like I said, I have a week off, so I can actually spend some time dedicated to speedrunning it. So Safala, and Quillamane. It's a right around here. Mozambique that you start heading over. Yeah, there it is. Sometimes there's some villages around here. Including a, a star level discovery, which is nice. And I believe that's it. Yep, star level discovery right there. Dodo bird.
Yeah, I, I, that sounds right, um, Hot Sin. That definitely sounds right. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be working on some projects around the, the, the house. and Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, this should be all the way up to 65. Dodo bird. So yeah, so it's extinct, remember? So they decided to make it a star level discovery, which I think is kind of cool. All right, and that'll fetch me a whopping. Now, I just thought of something. If, the, if that discovery spawns, I wonder if I can go right to, because I could go directly east. Nah, no, nah, you don't want to do that. Do that because if you're gonna be here, you might as well discover all these things and get extra fame. Back over here. Keep sailing up the coast. Well, because you've got to come here. I'm wondering because you have to come back here later in the game anyway. I wonder if it's worth it to just blitz right over. I'm trying to think here. Because I could discover all this, and I mean, you get a ton of fame doing it. But for this particular discovery, I need to head over. I think I know where I need to go anyway. Pull up my. I think I know where I need to go. It's 30, yeah, so it's right around that area. It's right just north of Australia, which I can get by blitzing right over. This would depend on the money situation. Yeah, I guess it would depend on my money situation. You know, I'm, you know, hold on. No, 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 no. I need to go, I'll go right over there because I have to come back here at this part of the game uh, later in the game anyway and I get a bunch of fame and adventure doing that. Yeah, 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 Okay, that's what I'll do. But I should, I should go to the supply port. Yep. I guess it all just depends. So for this one, you're definitely going to have to make some, be prepared to call some audibles. Um, yeah, re the requirements for Pietro Story Hudson are uh, fame and adventure. Yeah, and I'll just blitz right over here. This should be okay. Actually, now that I think about it, it might not be a bad idea to whip around South America. Yeah, so it's that one you're just going to have to be prepared to call audibles and come up with like a, a plan or two. The reason I like to run in this one too is it's the music's so great. to discover some great discoveries out here. Yeah, so I'll whip around.
I guess I'll t yeah, I guess I can take this opportunity to get a world tour going. Oh, I can discover I can check for another star level discovery as well. The MOA. Yeah, there's a lot of people uh hop sim, do you talk about the story or are you talking about the uh, the music? Cause I actually like Ernst music too, it's kinda catchy. But I just the story is so boring. Like it's nothing really happens until you get to forty thousand fame. That's just me anyways. Maybe that maybe you should go for this. Well. Here we go. Exotic animal. Frilled lizard. Got it. Yeah, no, that's that, that's totally fair, uh, Hot Sin. That's that's fun. G long. Having the map of where everything is, to me, is crucial. And you know what I think I'm going to do is when I start running this, I'll, uh, you know, when I start running this, I'll put this in front of my iPad. Okay, down the swings, and then there's a discovery down here. animal. Very good. The kiwi. Very nice. Okay, over here. Okay, now I think in this particular quest... Oh, I was looking. I was like, sometimes there's a village up there. Now on this particular quest, Dili. It was around here. Check my world map here. Oh, I need to go up a little bit. Okay, now I believe it's somewhere around here is what map said. Let's take a look. Hmm, it's right there. It said it was 30 north, 135, wait, 30 south, 135 east. Okay, I need to go further south. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I passed it.
Did I screw this up? It's 30 south. Thirty-five east. Hold on. It should be right. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it does. Yeah, <laughs> hyper kaiju. That's funny. That's true. Okay, did I screw this up? It seems like to me I'm in the wrong part of the world map. I thought it said... But now I'm wondering if that's a bit more north. I thought it said 30 south. I hope it didn't say 30. I know it was 135 east. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm okay. I'm okay. Maybe I'm okay. Oh, I bet it's, you know what, it's up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is right. Yeah, this is right. Okay, now let's see where exactly it is. Okay, it's right. That turn right there. So, well, I believe if I go here and search, got the gold medallion. Very good. Okay, so yeah, that'll be, that'll be a split. Okay, got it. All right, now we'll take it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm good now. I know what I'm doing now. Yeah, so it does end in, okay, so this... map is incorrect. Okay, I need to find, I need, okay, so I need to, bottom line is I need to find a different world map because this one was incorrect. But that's fine. Yeah, okay, so, and I mean, and, I, and I'll go right for it. Really what I need to do is just get my, kind of get my world map all figured out here. Just a minute here. This one was not helpful. I just need court, I need one that has coordinates. I, yeah, I just, I just need a map that's got coordinates. Yeah, I'm just looking up here. No, nope, that does not help. Yeah, really, I just need to kind of get some of my Okay, so 30 south, 135 east. That's about Australia. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, because I'm basically halfway around the world, at this point I might as well keep discovering. I try to find star level discoveries. Jack, if you go over this way. Well, I'll get a lot of famous from cartography. 
Yep, because here's New Zealand. Wanganui! Sometimes there's a discovery right up here. Nope, now I'll just go directly east. Sometimes there's a star level discovery here. What I'll do is I'll just whip around. You do end up in South America, but really, um, hops in the. It's, it really just depends on where the medallion spawns. Yeah, agreed. Away, but it is a potential star level discovery. There it is, the Moai. Turn all this to 65. Yeah, that'll knock the ones out in the Amazon, then head back. Discovery, the Moai, and off we go. Doesn't what spawn uh, pops in? Oh, does it? Does it spawn in a village location? I didn't even think about that. Spawn out of a random village? I didn't even think about that. I don't know. That is a good question. I don't know. Valparaiso. Been there many times. It's important part. It's important port to get to Nagasaki. Okay, interesting. I didn't know that. But now that I now that I'm comparing it with my map, that actually makes sense. That actually makes sense. Yeah, it very well could be. I, I hadn't I don't know. I hadn't thought about that, but you could be right. Oh, I hate when that happens, when crew members want to stay. That's really annoying. We should be okay, though. Does at least... Does, if you do that, though, that does mean that... Uh... Yeah, that's true, Faye. It's definitely a good point. It's up here. Oops. Yeah. Now I'll just got these ones out and then head home. 
because yeah, there's there is there is a star level discovery up here, and so I'll I'll nab it and then I'll head home. That should give me enough fame to trigger the next story. And I know I've been streaming this for about an hour and a half. I've, mostly this is just kind of remembering how this stuff goes. Because if you can get enough fame and adventure, uh, the game just kind of goes, 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 goes. And you can start to find fame and adventure and things like that along the way. The splits are going to be very different because of just how... Uh, let's see. The splits are going to be very different just based on how, um, wait, let me just check out, yeah, okay, um, the splits are going to be so different actually based on wait, you know what, if the medallion does spawn at a village location and I look up the village, I've got a thing I can pull up, I know what I'm going to do, okay. Now that I know that information, Hot Sin, I can just pull up a, um... I can just pull up a map that's got a list of every village in the game and, and its coordinates. You know, I can just do that. Alright, let's get ready to head home. Rio de Janeiro, and we'll just start heading back now. Yeah, totally fine. Oh, that's cool, Faye. What's been your favorite as of late? A storm. Come back this way and back to Lisbon. You got to do your whole world map exploration anyway. Shall. Because the more and more you knock out, the more fame and adventure you get. You got to do it anyway to get eventually get to forty thousand fame and adventure to progress the story. I'm hoping to get a sub three thirty. If I can beat this game in three and a half hours, I'll be I'll be happy. Cafe, if some trigger the medallion triggers. No, okay. All right. Indeed, let's talk about all the things we've discovered, and it's a lot. Now we now we start to really rake it in. How many pages of discoveries? Three pages of discoveries. That's pretty good. Now, this is where we're going to get the money that we need to... You really just need enough money to get started, and then the money that you make from discoveries is enough to last you for the game. It's just getting it started. So if I think if I can get, like, the Great Auk, or if I can get two out of three discoveries at the start of the game, uh, I can do a run.
Yeah, now what you do, now here at this point, what you do is you just sell your discoveries. Now here's, watch this. Here, I'm going to get 10 gold ingots here. Woohoo! Yeah, the only, the only problem with that hot is you, that's true, but you do have to do some quests that cause you some, to do some unnecessary running around. The good thing about this is, though, you don't have to do any fighting, like you have to do in Joao's scenario, which, which is why I was happy uh, to get a... A kiwi! Which is why I was happy to get uh, a, a sub-4 on that one. And the Moai. Awesome. Alright, let's see how we're doing. Oh yeah, 11,000, that should be enough to trigger the next sequence. Okay, now let's see. I'm trying to see what triggers the next sequence. Hmm. Oh, it's Harbor that you goes that triggers the sequence. There we go. Sure. Wow. All right. So maybe you have to go to the Harbor to to trigger it. There we go. Great. Okay. Awesome. Very good. Okay, so gold medallion. So when I get to the gold medallion, I need to enter harbor. And then wow. Great. Uh-huh. Oh, great. Hello, Joao. Of course. Hmm. Staff of Poseidon. Okay. Mm hmm Right. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Uh oh. Hmm. Sure, no problem. Okay. Now, where can we go? Que sera, sera. Absolutely. Whatever will be, will be. Ah, Arabia is the key. And we have more than enough money to survive for the rest of the game now, so we're good. Okay, now here's where the... Oh, shit. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that's fine. I'll pick up some crew at my next stop. Okay, and now we head out to Arabia. Now, this is where the fun starts, if you want to call it that. Oh, shit. I forgot to drop off my uh, cartography. Yeah, well, and it's actually interesting, Hot. If you go and look at my auto speed run, you only need one Venetian Galas to win the game. On, a, on that speed run. So yeah, go back and watch my speed run of Otto Banes and you'll see. You really only need one to win the game. Same with Catalina. Off. And we're 
port. Sweet. 46.4. That should be another 4,000 payment adventure. Yep. Very good. Terrific. Okay. Now let's head to Arabia. Yes, I will get there. Just relax. Let's go. And this is just this is just fun. Yeah, thanks, man. I, I, I should have been more vocal that I was doing this. I just, ooh, pirates. I just uh, completely forgot to post about it. But yeah, I'm excited. I have a week off, so I'm going to try to get a Pietro speedrun going. I'm going to record just test something out as well. So I'm just doing some tests to see. I know there's some lag and some dropped frames. Uh because of just how my upload speed is not great, which is fine. So I'm gonna try doing a recording as well. I've got, I got a new MacBook Pro. Oh. And because of that, I can, um, okay, just a minute here. Uh, let's see, Let me just, I'm just making some notes here. Uh, let's see, cartography, boom, okay, good. Here we go. Yeah, I know that there's a few drop frames because my upload connection, unfortunately, is not great. So, but if I can record my speed run as I'm doing it, I can, when I'm actually posting, because I want I want to stream doing the run, and then I can just edit the, the downloaded video to my computer where there shouldn't be any dropped frames, and edit that and post. And upload that and upload that to um, speedrun.com. Should be fun. Yeah, I don't have to worry about trading. I don't have to do any, worry about anything. Yeah, and I'm actually going to, so I'll be doing this this week, probably today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then I'm out of town Friday, then I'm back at it next week, but maybe just tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll see how my prep goes today and how, how my prep goes today and if I can get it, if I feel like I can get a good time. Yeah, I mean, well, I wasn't sure because, like, over quarantine, I got into speedrunning. I just kind of got excited about speedrun videos. And I was like, well, you know, I thought, okay, so now we're starting to get into Arabia. Now, here's where it starts to get tricky because I think these are Turkish ports. 
and Turkey is in a blockade. Oh, it's Portugal. Oh, oh Middle East is Portugal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, great. There it is. Great. Fortune teller in the port of Alexandria. Okay. So now you have to, now this is where this starts to get annoying because now you have to run all the way back to, uh, you have to do a little quest here, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, we got it. We already know, we're good. Oh, wait, you know what? what? I don't need a bookkeeper. I'm an idiot. There we go. Ottoman Empire, Alexandria. Now I can just back and chill for a little bit. Yeah, that's... So this game, you have to go all the way back to... Uh, it gives you a random port in the Middle East, so then you have to do that. Then you have to come all the way back here to get the staff and then find it. Hopefully I know where it is. Otherwise I'll have to go back and get get it checked. Now I just need to be look out for pirates so that they don't auto sail me. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's you can't even get Cairo. It's so annoying. You can't even, like, find some explosives in a Final Fantasy game and explode it, you know? It's annoying. Okay, so where would be the next split? Probably, um... Probably staff map. Oh, shoot. I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Yeah, nothing will happen here. It's phosphorescent light. Yeah, nothing will happen here. It's fine. It's just annoying. Yeah, okay. Here I break it to go directly to the northeast. Because it saves a little time. Actually, I'll probably just take it over from this point. Because this is more like where pirates are going to show up. Ooh, I definitely need to reload on bombs. Pirates. That was nearly very bad. I wasn't paying attention. So staff map. Come on. Now the only part is sometimes when you get back to Europe. Now this is not me. The frames just get stuck because there's going to be a lot more objects on the screen.
I don't even think you need to pick up a, another mate to win this game. Yeah, because there's no trading. Alexandria's all the way over here. Sometimes there's a discovery down there. Oh, there is. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Okay, get lucky. Great. The only... Yeah, no. Turkey, you've got to enter at night, unfortunately. Okay, I think I just missed the fortune teller. I think the fortune teller is only open at night until midnight. Yep. That's fine. Because we yeah, we're on a blockade with Italy, so it's unfortunately. Check in. Ooh. We are indeed. Okay. Go to the cafe in Shiraz. Okay. Well, let's do it. See, I think now you gotta go all the way back. It's kind of annoying. We got it. And supply. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna go pick up some balm real quick. I, I, I made a note to do it before. Also, I'm not gonna check out the Nile River because the discoveries there just aren't worth it. And you know what I can do though? Is go down real quick and grab Cairo. Shiraz. Shiraz, I believe, is Middle East? Yeah, I think Shiraz is Middle East. Yes, I got it. Auto sail up to Porto. Put up some balm. Some information here. Now, I normally wouldn't do this, but mm -hmm. I'm just gonna be careful the pirates don't spawn. Good. Great. Shiraz, yeah, that is the least because of the low price of carpet. That's right. snag this port, eh? Very good. Can I help you? 
palm. Palm. Get a few more here. I always like to have five on hand. Very good. Yeah, we're going, we're going, just relax. Yeah, just the slow frame rate. Kind of annoying, but that's okay. So, Joao, because then it's just boom, boom, boom. Yeah, because then I can get the staff map after seeing Joao. Okay, I'll pass the pirates, and I'll start auto sailing again. I love that there's so many other ships just kicking around, and I don't do anything about it. Okay, bomb. There was a speed discovery made for this game, but it's hella crushed. Which, what are you talking about, Hopson? I'm always up for getting speed tips. Yeah, you know, I've 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 heard that hot sin. Uh, and I thought about running the Genesis version. But it just I, I remember this now and I remember the animation is kind of cool. I think the actually the animation in the Genesis version is better. But the music is just terrible and I just can't put myself. I just can't put myself to do it. <laughs> Plus, this is, I mean, I'm playing this on the virtual console, on the Wii U virtual console, and it's just easier to speedrun that way. Unless I could find a way to run it on an emulator, which, I don't know, I may mess with that. We'll see. We will see. Yeah, good point, Faye. Yeah, oh, for sure. No question. Okay, now I head up this way and up to Shiraz. because I think these are allied with Turkey. Yeah, and there's a blockade, so you gotta enter at night. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh. Oh, I see. They are. 
Right. Right. Oh, well that was easy. Oh, I see. Got it. Great. Wow, that was easy. Perfect, and there it is. There it is, and boom, Staff of Poseidon. All right, let's see where we're going here. Hopefully I know where this is. Map of Staff. Let's see if I know where this is. That appears to be the Amazon River. I know exactly where that is. That's what it looks like, anyway. Now, how to get to the Amazon River. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go around. So I can discover this part of the world map. That's exactly what I'm going to do. What, uh, what's on Steam? Uh, fa oh, the online version? Got it. Yeah, so I'm going to go around this because I, if I can do this, this will get me it should get me 40,000 fame, and then I can go win the game. Chin. Okay, Celion, very good. Now I just gotta check, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Um, and up this way to check for a possible village. It's a wonder. In a lake. stuff for us to find here. Bankao. Then there's a village up there. Yeah, now we're going to go because there's a lot of stuff we can find down here. I remember when I first started playing this game, I was so scared to leave Europe because I was so scared to leave Europe because uh, there's just nothing out there and you're afraid of storms and stuff like that. But now that I've been, I've literally been playing this game for 10 years and and loving, like this has been one of my favorite games for the DOS version of, oh God, I can only imagine what that's like. I've never played Uncharted Waters online. There we go. Ruins of an ancient civilization. Borobudur. And what I like about this is these are actually places in real life, so... It's kind of cool, actually. I, I think, anyway.
Okay, now let's go up and discover some things up here. Panda. Boa. There's one more up here. Turn it. Not to be confused with turn up. Sometimes there's a village over here, so we'll look for it. Then loop around. There's that supply port. Okay, great. Mindanao. Oops. Stop. Bad game. Doing what I tell you. Yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's, but that's, the Atlantis thing, that's been a made-up story in history for years. So I'm not too concerned about that. Plants. The durian. Ooh. Hardy durian? Like in Breath of the Wild? You didn't think I was going to forget about that, did you? That's another game I LP'd that I had a lot of fun with is Breath of the Wild, so check out my Breath of the Wild LP if you'd like. There's a village there. Okay. Snag back and grab that. It's a bit out of the way, but that's okay. All for the game. Well, actually, I need to head back this way anyway. Get the things up in this area. Right. Tree snake. way. Catch everything here. There's Hanoi. Macau should be up. Oh, a village. Nice. Even better. I'm not going to get every village in the game. I'll probably only get about 40 of them, but that should be enough. Yeah, I understand about those old school Zelda games for sure. There we go. Zotic Animal. Calavinca. 
And if you want, you can definitely pause and check out the video, check out the uh, descriptions if you want. Macau, very good. How are we doing on days? I'm going to need to stop pretty soon. Should be Zaiton coming up. Now, I can't remember if you need to trigger something to spawn Sakai and Nagasaki. I can't remember. And Chang'an and those ports. We'll find out. There's Lucian. Yeah, that would be a good place to stop. Yeah, those old school Zelda games are great. Okay, I'll discover the Yellow River because there's some great discoveries in here. Well, I know Sakai and Nagasaki don't spawn for Joao right away. You have to trigger the... Um, you have to trigger the... The bookkeeper, the monkey. I can't remember. Uh, Enrico. You have to trigger the Enrico thing before Sakai and Nagasaki spawn. I know that. Which is kind of annoying, actually. Keon Ling. Hmm, cool. Oh, and there's Chang'an. Okay, cool. Awesome. There's a village. Whose story? Oh, Joao's? Yeah, Joao's story is is interesting because you don't anticipate having to fight at the beginning of the game because it's a... But you have to fight to win the game, so... But if you need fame and adventure, so it's kind of weird. So you have to build up just enough to be able to survive. But you don't have to duel. Ancient civilization... It's a great wall of China. Stop it. Looks like a cannibal. Hedgehog. This will be a good one. Should be anyway. Panda bear! Yay! 
of the panda bear. So cute. Okay, well, let's go stop off at Chang'an. We'll check Japan, and then we'll head to South America into the Amazon River. Stop off at Lisbon, drop off all my discoveries. And should be good to go. Oh, I said I was going to stop off at Chang, didn't I? Well, let's see if these spawn. If they don't, I'll run back up. Okay, it does. Okay, Nagasaki and Sakai do spawn. Okay, great. That's helpful. Go over, actually, hold on. There's a village up here. Let me check. There's Sakai. I know sometimes there's a village up here. Oh, and there's a supply port. You know, I'm not gonna worry about it's a weaker one. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. Just go right to Nagasaki and Sakai. Mostly Sakai, actually. Sometimes there's a village right there. Report. Yep. How am I doing on Fame, by the way? Six, good. All right. Uh, let's go. And now, just head to the southeast. Basically, just hang out here for a long time. Watch for storms. Discover down here. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to stop here in a little bit, anyways. Unfortunately, because it's just got stuff to do today. I've been streaming for a couple hours, which is pretty good. But yeah, I'll probably have to stop here in a little bit. I'll find a good stopping point, get to a village and find a good stop, or get to a supply port and find a good stopping point.
But yeah, this has been fun. I'm looking forward to finishing this up tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. We'll finish this up tomorrow, then start running the game on Wednesday. Try to get it running on Wednesday and Thursday. See which one I like better. Plus, this just gets you more fame in cartography. There we go. Sometimes there's a village right up here. Just check it. Where is it? Once I get this, then I'll have discovered the entire world map and I can just go win the game. Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to a... Next port I see, I'll stop. Yeah, okay. You know, I actually do need to stop for today. And, um, but I will continue with this next time. But, uh, yeah, I'll finish this up next time. And it should be a lot of fun. But thanks for checking this out with me. And I definitely look forward to, um, to doing this again tomorrow. But, yeah, I'll finish up tomorrow. And, uh, we'll get some more information down. And we should be good to go. But thanks, everybody, for checking it out today. I really appreciate it. But until the next time we meet, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash BCS Buster. Please check out all the ways you can support the channel in the video description below. There's a lot of promo codes that you can use. And uh, definitely use those promo codes. They can help save you money, but they can help me grow the channel as well. Um, yeah, thanks to everybody for being here today. Hyper Kaiju, Hotsin, Faye, everybody. Thanks for checking out the stream this morning. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Thanks for checking out the stream. Uh, well, I'll be doing this again tomorrow about the same time, so be sure to check it out. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you all next time. Till the next time, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all. Thanks for being here this morning. Mm -hmm.